All right, so I was looking at the top smart thermostats on Amazon and Sensi had two of the top five spots. And I was thinking, huh, I've never heard of this company before. And I'm surprised that it's number two and number four. So what makes them so popular? So I have the Nest thermostat. It's the copper edition. I think it's the third generation. It's a pretty good thermostat, but unfortunately it doesn't work with HomeKit, meaning it doesn't work with Siri. And I just wanted to see what makes these so popular. And this is the one that is rank two at the time of me recording this. This one is rank four. I think the reason why this one is selling so much more is because one, it's cheaper and two, it uses more of physical buttons. So you don't have to be cautious about the touchscreen not working in a couple of years. This one seems to be more of forget it, set it. Um, this one to me looks more modern. I'm glad they gave me the black one instead of the white one. Um, so I'm going to get these both unboxed, but before that, what I originally had when I moved into this apartment is this top tech thermostat. To be honest, it's pretty trash. There's a reason why I replaced it, but um, I think I'm going to open up this one first just because it's the more popular one, even though this one is going to be my favorite. I'm going to open them up. Let's get this unboxed, and yes, I will smell it. I have been forgetting to smell devices recently it's just crossed my mind guys i apologize all right so let's see how the unboxing experience is oh my goodness there's more tape i know you guys might think this knife is too big but i think it's too small if you ask me all right let's see okay so it's actually a decent size it looks a little bit bigger than the one that i have yeah it's definitely bigger than my original one I kind of like it, kind of like it. So they give you some stickers in order for you to, I guess, look at the electrical wires that you already have present so you don't forget what you're disconnecting. So this one also has the electrical components labeled on the back on the device. They give you some screws as well. So let's get this. I'm chopping this like I'm chopping food. I didn't even chop it, are you serious? Never cut towards yourself, guys. So let's see how it looks when it's turned on at least 76 degrees that's that's pretty accurate that's what it is right now it actually looks pretty good i can't i can't deny that i can't deny that um so while this one is on what i'm going to do next is open up the one that i want to set up so this one looks more interesting to me just because it looks in line of what my nest looks like and my nest is i love my nest but setting that thing up was a pain the fact that you have to set up your wi-fi password using the dial and not in the app is really annoying i really hope sensi you're allowed to um, type in your password using your phone so let's see what this one looks like yeah this one's definitely my kind of my kind of thermostat um, it definitely seems a little bit more thinner I like that. It's a little bit more smaller. I like the touchpad one. Oh, this one is like some high res now all of a sudden. I uh, got longer screws in this one. And then the back of this one looks sort of like my nest, but in a linear shape. So you just press down in order to get to the electrical component that you want to get to. Um, so I really like this layout more than the um, non-touch one, but we'll see when I get this set up. Smells pretty good. This one smells better. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The back of this one smells better and the top of this one smells better. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take apart my Nest thermostat and install this one, the touchpad one, and let you guys know how it looks just to give a more apples to apples comparison, even though this one is more uh, widely sold on Amazon. This one just seems to be more in line of what I would like in a smart home. Um, I'll let you guys know any difficulties I might find. I'll do a time lapse of me hooking up all the electrical component components. Speaking too fast, but yeah, let's move on to the time lapse. First step, you should always turn off your air conditioner, but to be honest, I turn off just about everything because you know I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, that's all fine, I guess.
Okay, so boom, it's on. Connect to comfort. I'm going to see if there's something in the menu. Uh, let's go to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to set up new Wi-Fi. So now it's asking me to connect to my Sensi app. So previously what I did was I went to touch Wi-Fi thermostat and no, it's not installed. But now that it is installed, what I'm going to do is hit yes, it is on the wall. I'm going to hit next, go into the menu. Now it's showing that it has HomeKit right here. So I'm going to click on the bottom option. And what I'm going to do, because I have HomeKit, I'm going to hit use HomeKit. Um, so now it's saying that I need to tap the HomeKit setup process. I think this is already here. So I'm going to hit next. Um, I'm going to hit next again. Um, so it says I need to turn on my iCloud keychain, but I believe that is already on. I believe this is already on as well. So make sure you have all this stuff enabled in your setting. I'm going to choose my existing home at the top, click next. Yes, if the code is displayed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hover it over my camera. It's going to get it. Select, connecting, allow. It is really hot in my apartment right now. So far, I wanna say that this is a much faster connecting process than the Nest thermostat. You have to turn the dial to connect to the Wi-Fi on the Nest. And it's the most annoying process ever. I don't know why you can't set it up through, what's it called? Why you can't set it up through the app, it just doesn't make sense to me. So showing that there's a firmware upgrade in progress. Um, I have it on my app as well. Um, I guess it's offline because it's doing the upgrade. But what I want to test is if Siri can change my thermostat. So first things first, let me take off this plastic. All right, Siri, your time to shine. As you can see, it's 80 degrees in my apartment now. So what I'm going to do now, you're gonna hit the heat mode at the bottom left. This lets you choose between heating, cool, or auto. Right now it's the summer, so I just want it to cool no matter what. And now it says set to 85, but here's the test once again. Set apartment to 70 degrees. There we go. And I can hear my air conditioning turning on. I'm hearing a few clicking from here. Um, I think my Nest does that as well. So fan is on auto. You can have it just on. I'm just gonna leave it on auto for now. Let's see if I can scrub through this. No, so you can only tap up and down. Um, wish you could like, go all the way up or all the way down. But I guess from a for a thermostat perspective, it makes sense to just go by one. You don't want to accidentally go all the way up to like 80 degrees or all the way down to like 50. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get on the um, regular Wi-Fi Sensi, the one that's most popular. Um, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take out the batteries in the back to see if I can actually get power through the um, AC unit. And I guess I'll show you guys a time lapse of me putting this one on. Ho oh, ho, we got power. So <laughs> it's 82 degrees now. Let's see. Uh, humidity is pretty much the same 84. It's going up to 83. Let's see, set apartment, come on Siri, set apartment to 72 degrees. So that switched over to 72 and now it's set to 72. Set apartment to 74 degrees. Boom, so this switched over to 74 and as we can see in the app, it's now 74. So that's exactly what I wanted. It's Home kit, but Alexa, Google Assistant, they all still work. So you don't have to worry about being just into one ecosystem, but it's nice that um, this is one of the popular thermostats that's able to work with home kit, unlike the Nest thermostat. So I'm going to run this one for the first couple of days to give my final review on it because it is the more popular one. And then I will review the touch one later on. Um, in my personal opinion, I think that the touch one is better but we're just gonna have to wait and see in my review. It's just the aesthetics of the touch one I like. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Please make sure to subscribe if you did like the video. Leave a like if you like the video, dislike it if you don't. 
Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. And as always, guys, much love.